Sri Lanka. Well, well, well. It's time someone put respect on Sri Lanka's name, and it's time for us to say goodbye to Pakistan. What wonderful memories they've given us this tournament, hosting the Asia Cup. The agony and the ecstasy, mm -hmm. here goes, was a 1961 biographical novel about Michelangelo and his troubles painting the Sistine Chapel. And I think it... I say Michelangelo. It, and that's an important topic with <laughs> TGC at the moment. Yes, it is. Yes. I think Pronunciations. I think it presages... Who is not a player. No, uh, he's that's not. That's just a noun. But uh, it presages Baba Razam's issues within Pakistan because he's indeed Michelangelo mm. painting the Sistine Chapel. Yep. There is the agony. There is the ecstasy. Last night it was agony for Baba's team. But respect on Sri Lanka's name. I, respect. In my life, the Sistine Chapel is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Number two, the covers across every single field in Sri Lanka. <laughs> 50,000 subs gone because we went to the Taj Mahal this year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's in my top 50, I've got to tell you. It's been a privileged life. TGC is brought to you by cricket.com. Download the cricket.com app for all the stats and analysis. And you know, if you're in the neighbourhood of supporting cricket.com, who are in turn supporting Pez TGC, go and subscribe to cricket.com's YouTube channel. They have everything there you've ever needed. If you like your cricket, and some people on this channel sometimes like the cricket, Cricket, deep breaths. Can I just say something on cricket.com? Say Because I, I don't normally get a chance to talk about this kind of shit. Once again, it's the greatest URL in this sport. Clean. It's 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 godlike. Yeah. If you cricket dot com. <laughs> if you wanted a website about cricket, yeah. The first one, the number one name commercial. I would choose would be cricket.com. Just sitting there. Who sat there in what year what would it have been? 1996? Shotgun. And just went. Is uh is, is cricket.com available? Is this available? <laughs> is this available? Okay. Uh, Myspace.com forward slash cricket. Um, I've got cotton buds in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks for the support, cricket.com. What a game though, Pez, the last yeah, time. We went, game. Oh, we, went, we, game. Went, we went deep. We went, we went deep. We went balls deep yeah. all the way in. Put the balls in at one point. Um, neck and neck, mate. To and fro, mm -hmm. ebb and flow. <laughs> Uh, it was a DRS game because uh, somehow, sorry, DRS game, uh, Duckworth Lewis game, yeah, a DLS yeah, yeah. game. Yeah. I was explaining hell. this to the barista this morning who doesn't like cricket. Yeah. It was a DRS game and a DLS game, and I'm very <laughs> cool. Please date me. <laughs> Please. Um, and it's a weird one because Sri Lanka ended up winning the game with the same score as what Pakistan had scored in the first innings, though what it all meant was it was just Duckworth Lewis' system, and they won it off the last ball with one wicket in hand because – uh, Tik Shana could not feel because he was getting scans for his hamstrings. So how close it was for both teams to get the one chance to play India in the final on Sunday evening. Sri, uh, okay, he goes, Sri Lanka mm. were uh, literally some bad Afghan maths away from being <laughs> dumped out of this tournament. <laughs> and now they yeah. continue their love affair mm. with the finals of the Asia Cup. Yeah. Isn't it remarkable in 16 editions of the Asia Cup, I think mm. India and Pakistan have not met in the final once. Yeah, as, that's as right. The that's the top right. three teams. Yes. They've sure. not met once. Sure, sure. Uh, I don't know what that means. I think it's generally in the positive respect on Sri Lanka's name. Yeah, I think we've got to put some respect on the name. But mm. this, this is their 11th final. They love a final. Hell, they, it's good. Love, they love the Asia Cup. Might say more about us, really. I mean, perhaps yeah. this is just oh, a all good of cricketing does. nation. <laughs> all of this does. Yeah. Yeah. Does Ranatunga still play for them? <laughs> oh, I love those Kalawith Rana days. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Jai Suri. They just got off to those flyers, you know? <laughs> I mean, they did. I, st I still actually, I was, I'm old enough to remember how thrilling that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Uh, all right. What do you want to talk about first? Uh, the agony and the ecstasy of all mm. of this. I felt like they were, they really went uh, like toe to toe this whole game. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, Sri Lanka would move forward in this game. Pakistan would come back. Mm. Uh, Pakistan, Pakistan go first. Uh, Baba, the key wicket, is dismissed by Wellalage. Yeah, Wellalage. Wellalage. Yeah. Thank you for uh, all of the tutelage online, everybody. We try and get better every day. We're going to talk more about this at the end of the show. Uh, and then what are we looking at? Rizwan comes to the party again. 
Uh, 80 odd red. Is that what we're talking, yeah, what we're 80, talking 86 about? 86 or 73, yeah. mate. Now, I don't, know, I don't know what. Okay, so let's say. Uh, so Pakistan won the toss and they decided to have a stick, which was an unusual decision you felt like at the time, given the rain around and whatnot, because it seems to be easier for teams chasing mm. typically mm. When, it's, uh, when it's a Duckworth Lewis affected match, as this mm. one ended up oh, being. Harold Stern there. By the way, uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck him. It's his system as well. I mean, what are we looking at? <laughs> uh, but the, yeah, Pakistan were missing Imam. They had Harris Ralph on the sidelines mm. and um, Nazim Shah. Thank you. Yes, uh, all missing. Look, Sri Lanka is missing their best player Hasaranga. So mm. you know, teams are missing guys, and that's okay. But uh, Pakistan were obviously affected by that. But oh, there's something about Rizwan, man. Where like for me, mm. uh, Joss Butler's my favorite player to watch when he gets going in the white ball format. But Rizwan, Rizwan's close second. Mm. But like this, the, he's in the conversation. But there's something about Rizwan and the, the bat speed that when I watch him bat, I find myself fantasizing about him playing like club cricket yes. and how funny it would be. Because like some of the dispatching of the balls and how quick his feet are down the, down the deck to the spinners, horizontal bat shots, the click of the bat when he strikes it pure. Uh, there's something in my mind to be like, this would be so fucking funny if he was playing like a first grade game. Cause it would mm. just be like, this is indestructible. He'd score 300 in a session in a club game. Now, like he's achieved more, he's achieved higher honors in his life playing for Pakistan and whatnot. And especially the whatnot. That's a club team in the UAE. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but how pure it is. It's so funny to watch him get going. Cause he's like, this guy, this guy is like, he's like a, he's a cheat code. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, d- I don't know what you mean. When you're talking about kind of club cricket and Rizwan and, and in a respectful way and how that would work, like I was thinking that – and I mean this in like the most uh, complimentary way. Uh, he has a sort of a retro bat, like bat swing uh, mm-hmm. and a retro vibe. Like the sorts of shots he plays don't really look like, oh, he's at the cutting edge of 2023 cricket, although he is and, mm. and he can hit a big ball and that kind of thing. Like he looks like he could kind of go toe-to-toe with guys in the 90s and the early 2000s as well. He just looks like a the cricketer's cricketer, mm. Rizwan, like with that. a beautiful face. I like he, that. He just has a lot of uh, like old school cricket movements. Mm-hmm. And actually I mean that as opposed to like a sports science athlete levers type thing. He's, he's, he's punchy. He's um, uh, coordinated. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's hands. Yep. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's hand high. I like it. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's, there's so much about this game, which is interesting in the Pakistan perspective. Yeah. But um, Sri Lanka's obviously won the game and got themselves yeah. into the final. Mm. But like, just, just talking about the spinners, Teek Shana and Paterana specifically. Now, uh, it was um, it was Teek Shana who hurt himself on the boundary line, did his hamstring, then he couldn't bat at mm. the end there. So he was off the field. But like, he bowled his last few overs just limping into bowl, getting through his, he bowled, how many overs did he bowl in the end? He bowled nine, is that right? He bowled, he bowled nine overs, opening the bowling at the top there as well. But uh, with Padarana and Tikshana and Hasaranga, uh, like all this is laddering up to the World Cup and it's like, oh, if they get the right decks, this is going to be a tough team to beat yeah. because the batting has generally been unders for Sri Lanka. Mm. But the bowling on some tricky decks, like mm. this one sort of was as well. It wasn't a raging turn or anything like that, but I think that's the difference in the game between Shut Up Khan and Iftikhar and Teek Shana and Padarana. Mm. I th- you could tell it was on in this game, and I think it's important to call it out because there's so many one days or forgettable white ball games irrespective of the format. Mm. You can tell that teams are experimenting uh, with with – with structures yeah, and uh, formulas yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, di- different setups of the team, formations of the team. Mm. I, could, I, I just got the impression in this game both teams were going hell for leather to win yeah. in a really competitive way. And I thought to that end Sri Lanka flexed very well because – while they made hard work of it at the end, which can happen uh, mm. under pressure. And always fun to see as a neutral. It's a 42-over game, rain affected that finishes like well past midnight, I believe. And Sri Lanka have got it done six going six and over. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a pretty decent flex from yeah. those guys. And yeah. they showed some depth, different guys making runs across the board as well. Kusul Mendes leading the charge mm-hmm. there. Uh, it's right-handers, it's left-handers, it's match-ups. Mm. Uh, they've got some good white ball seamers and then obviously really sp- uh, strong through the spinners as well. Mm. As you say, getting good decks in Asia, in Asian conditions. Yeah. Are we starting to have a look at Sri Lanka who's barely qualified for this World Cup? <laughs> well, they, had, they had to qualify for the World Cup. And then since then, they won both their games in the group stage against Bangladesh and Afghanistan. And then they have obviously beaten Pakistan here. And then they almost – well, they, they were they – were, 
in front of the game at one point against India the other night. India obviously um, got the job done and were right for winners of that game. But, uh, you know, it's it's a, another great turnout for them mm. in the Asia Cup. Mm. Uh, yeah, and, and then they've unearthed Well Alago, who he doesn't take five for this time. Mm. Uh, he has YouTubers saying his name correctly, namely me. <laughs> but he does get rid of uh, Baba. Can he yeah. Can he and Hasaranga mm. uh, exist in the same site? Well, yeah. Alago is so good that a couple of white guys are pronouncing his name correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed, but, uh, you know, play on. Well, let's talk about the final over because you're talking about the agony and the ecstasy. I think it was mm. uh, was it Asalanka who ended up nicking that ball between Rizwan and oh, Shot Firman. And, 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 yeah. like, and then Rizwan collapses to his knees and he thinks, yeah. like, well, that's over. And then there was only two off the last ball, which they ended up getting, obviously. But it's that they agony. Run 12 off that last ball. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone ever chase it? I think, I think it's still it's there. It's still going, yeah. <laughs> That's a long on plenty. <laughs> but uh, but that final over, fucking hell, good. Good stuff, Mate, good I gear. Was really, good gear. I was really impressed with uh, Zaman Khan from Pakistan. Uh, on in debut? That so on debut, taking the last over. Um, you know, prior to that, it looked like Sri Lanka had the – uh, scenario to do it easy. You're looking at something like 20 off 20, five wickets in hand or so, uh, all you need is bat on ball, enough fielders on the boundary where it's like if, if bat hits ball, you're scrambling a single. Yeah. And Pakistan stayed in it, stayed in it. A couple of bats succumb, uh, succumbed to pressure from um, Shaheen bowling. And then, yeah, on debut, Zaman is bowling these kind of uh, low, slingy, flying saucer type mm-hmm. deliveries that aren't as quick as his, uh, as his contemporaries, as his colleagues, but they got this little tail away. Mm. And he just manages to kind of scramble it up, gets it to what, six off two? Is that right? No, yeah, si- yeah it was. Off. It was six off two. And then that's when Asalanka hit the boundary to make it f- – oh, no, sorry, six, six off three. three. Pardon me. Uh, anyway, six off three. Um, prior to that, he goes, there was the the run out where the ball goes through to the keeper. Yep. Uh, interesting set of circumstances where Rizwan has the ball. He misses that run out. If he affects that run out, the, the incoming batsman is on strike. He's on strike, right. And not Asalanka. That might yes. have changed things as well. Yep. In the meantime, Zaman picks up the ball <laughs> and affects the most difficult throw <laughs> in cricket possible. That's the possible. Hard, hardest throw in the world. That's right, where they actually require you with that throw, you're two metres away, three stumps to hit, game <laughs> on the line, to actually turn into a shot putter. <laughs> and it's all you actually sudden, have to push the ball. It's chin a bit of bully. To, chin, knee, toe, make a bow, see it go. You know, like uh, <laughs> as they used to teach us at school. <laughs> Affects the run out. 180. But, uh, it's a bit of bully, you know. <laughs> um... But, yeah, with 20 off 20, you're sort of – normally in white ball cricket, somebody gets that thickish outside edge, it goes for yeah. four, and then you're yeah. away. And yeah. it, Sri Lanka just held their nerve mm. uh, and managed to get that happening. <laughs> just with that – just going back to that throw, like, it's just in any form of life. Like, if you're standing at a bin on a public street, right, not just a street, a public street, yes. and you've got a rolled up piece of paper and you've got to throw it, uh, let's call it one and a half metres, and you're just like, well, I'm going to get that in because you've got the circumference mm. uh, is bigger than the object you're trying to place it into mm. the bin or, or pitch it into mm. the bin. Now, if you miss that, you're livid at yourself – because you identify as as an athlete, of as the cricketer, therefore ipso facto mm. an athlete. Thank you. If you miss that from the bin, you're like fucking hell. Get me down to training. Yeah. Now three sum three sums to hit a meter and a half throw full size cricket ball. I've seen that miss more often than hit. Of course. I mean, when you look at it rationally mm. with that throw, it's actually if you you put it in someone's head, it's actually harder to miss. Like yeah. you would have to do quite well yeah. to ensure that ball is not at Off that the target. Trajectory, yeah. yeah, if you just move everything towards the target, mm. and yet it misses a lot of the time. Yeah. So I say fair play to Zaman mm-hmm. uh, for shot putting that into the stumps. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, Sri Lanka got it done if, from a Pakistan perspective, which is not mine. I'm neutral. If that was uh, Shakib Al Hassan, he would have walked over and just kicked him over. <laughs> as is his want which is also as is, hilarious as is his want now uh, we're, we're just moving into the final thing he goes respecting yeah. Sri Lanka I think yeah, we put some respect, respect on the name yeah, yeah, unfortunately yeah. for Pakistan this loss means that they go now from the best ODI team in the world per the rankings to the third uh, <laughs> tough, tough uh, loss fo- fo- following Sri Lanka's uh, thickish outside edge to mm. essentially seal the game mm. uh, Australia is now the best ODI team in the world that's until yeah. tonight that's if they it. lose Sri La- uh, South Africa goes number one <laughs> even though they're eight uh, 
just uh, just underpinning yeah. how serious all yeah. of these rankings are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hell of a hell of a couple of days. I mean, a week ago, Pakistan's the best in the world. No one's dealing with the cabal. Now they're struggling mm. to actually make the World Cup. That's yeah, the that's, news, yeah. <laughs> that, that's right. Mm. It's too late for Scotland to get back mm. in. Uh, yeah, that's right, mate. I mean, no one's played ODI cricket seriously since the final in 2019 at Lords. <laughs> Uh, and I include Dharma Seema in that as well. He hasn't taken it seriously at all. But um, <laughs> but uh, it, and now like in this like one month window before the World Cup again starts four years later after the last one, it's like how many games of cricket can we fit into this period? Guys out of form, guys in form, teams rising up and down the rankings. No one knows anything. But it's a hell of a ride, and Man. we've got one more big dance oui, on oui, Sunday, oui. and also a game, a game tomorrow night, uh, India Bangladesh. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> 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 Well, we were talking, I just lifted in the hood here, like we were talking off air and we're going through the World Cup mm. and it's it's all, it's looking close. It's, yeah. A, a lot of teams can win. Yep. It's not, you're not looking at like one or two standouts, mm. particularly in those conditions, mm. et cetera. And now Sri Lanka, I think, enter, enters the chat. Yeah. Uh, so, because given they've knocked off the best ODI team in the world. That's right. Uh, That's and, right. And, and the team with an, un, you know, unbackable uh, odds to win, yep. not really. And then obviously with uh, with Sri Lanka, uh, South Africa's bogey team, the Netherlands in there. Yes. You it, know, yeah. can they do something? Yep. So, yeah, it's all augering pretty well. It's a shame that every team has about 17 more games before yeah, yeah, the World Cup yeah, starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck predicting what's going to happen. But for me, here's my top six. <clears throat> yeah. Hashtag AskTGC. Hashtag AskTGC. This is from Vasav Krishna 4141. Thank you, Vasav Krishna. Uh, hashtag AskTGC. But... <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on the Nepal fun <laughs> laugh emoji. Now Nepal there is in capitals Nepal and our yes. incorrect uh, pronunciation of that early doors. He says, "Oh sheep, no it's he. You literally butchered all Sri Lankan names." Another laugh emoji. Would be fun if in the next show you can read the Sri Lankan team sheet in exactly the correct pronunciation, followed by another laugh emoji. Now okay. we discussed this. I think the first thing to say is like. Uh, us getting people's names wrong or pronouncing them incorrectly is not something that we take any kind of pride in or uh, want to be particularly ignorant about. But reading this question, I'm like, does he want us to pronounce the names like this so everybody can laugh at how bad we are, even if we're trying our best to do it? Look at these dumb fucking Aussies. Dumb fucking Aussies do with the their dance. stupid drawl yeah, and their the general dance, fucking Aussie. ignorance about everything. Yeah. I'm happy to have a go at as best as we can with our silly drawl accents. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to do is like uh, think it's funny to say people's names wrong because yeah. uh, that I don't. That's just disrespectful, really. It's not. It's not really that funny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, just, we're, trying to, we're trying to get it right. Yeah. Like yeah. With, with yesterday, I was saying uh, uh, Willala Gay's name incorrectly. Yeah. I genuinely, having watched the commentary and obviously not paying full attention. That's what I thought I'd heard. What's wrong with this guy's head? They're still trying to work it out. By this guy, I mean me, <laughs> right? But I, I, I really, uh, yeah. it, 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 it wasn't on purpose or anything like that. So with that in mind, shall um, shall we bring up the yeah. Sri Lankan? No, so, I've got, the Sri, yeah. so we have the Sri Lankan. The Sri Lankan Just yeah, I can't remember the fucking country <laughs> anymore. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Fucking up, maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> fucking idiot Australian, stupid idiot. Stupid idiot. Someone, Dad was right. You'll never, you'll never hug you. Clip that up. Put it into a song. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to patam the Sanka. Oh, it? you're going to patam. Yeah. I, 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 see, I think with the anchor, it's Anka. Anka. Nasanka. M Nasanka. Nasanka. Okay. Patam, patam Nasanka. Mm -hmm. Kusul Pereira. Right. That's Kusul Mendes. See, because people can make fun of us saying Kusul Pereira, though, because like, I think to a lot of other people's it's, ears, it's going to be like... Kusal Pereira. Yeah, because well, I mean, we have an accent. Like Kusal. So you have Kusal. To Kusal, to be, Kusal have to to, I'm not going to Pereira. <laughs> people are laughing at us. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. But I hope it's with in good spirit. You know? Now I'm saying it like yeah. I'm fucking Chicharito from these, Mexico. Kusal <laughs> Pereira. <laughs> these, <laughs> these poor Sri Lankan fans who are watching this right now, they, we come over there, we drink their tea, and, they, right. and we say Is their it, names wrong. Sadira Samara Wikrama. That sounded pretty good to me. Well, it sounded confident, but I, I'm not yeah. confident. That's how you do it. So I've got then uh, Charit Asalanka. 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 Yeah, so, yep. So that's like when we were in Australia, we just hear Pakistan all yeah, the time. Pakistan. And Sri Lanka. It's hard on the and A. And Nepal. The, yeah. the accents on the A is A. Or like, um, you know, France yeah. or France. Yeah. Dance or dance. Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka. Asalanka, Asalanka. 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 Yeah. Just because it, it, it's Sri Lanka, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I don't know. Okay, Dasan Shanaka. Yeah, Shanaka. Shanaka. Because sh- they Shanaka. Sh- Shanaka. It's not Shanaka. So even like <laughs> with, with Walala Gay, we'll get to that as well. Like, mm. it, how would we normally kind of say that? We're, like Walala Gay. I would yeah, Wella large. Well, even the way we say le, le, Wella large is probably how you'd say it mm. in like a an English pronunciation. It's like Labushane. Yeah, you know, like in uh, Afrikaans, yeah. it's Labuskakni. Labuskakni is yeah. what it should be. Yeah, but those collection of letters like in champagne. English is like yeah. champagne. So yeah. it's Labushane. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, yeah, now, okay. Keep going. Yep. Now, somehow this one's controversial, but I'm I'm saying Dianjana de Silva, Dananjaya, Dananjaya, yeah, Dananjaya. Yeah, we'll, I think we were saying Dun and Jaya the other day. We're like, oh, you've butchered that, yeah. mate. And we probably have. Dun and Jaya da Silva. Yeah. Uh, Dunith Wellalage. That sounds nice. Pramod Mudashan. Madashan. 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 I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, we're asking the question I'm asking. here. <sighs> here to learn, everybody. I'm just having to pass this Not test. to make out with you. I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to get six out of 11 here, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to get a pass mark. That's right. Is there just a pass me, Get me on to the next course, uh, you know? Matisha Patharana. Or is it Patarana? Patarana. 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 Patarana? Patarana. I think it's Pat, yeah. Yeah. But see, we used to say Kalawitharana. Yeah. Is it Kalawitharana? Yeah. Although, Let us know on the TH scenario. Yeah. I, I had a um, helpful correspondence from an a associate of ours saying in um, India saying that uh, when you're finishing with an I, think Kohli, not Bondi. Uh, right, not okay. that that applies here. I'm just trying to <laughs> demonstrate well, that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, here to learn. I'm always thinking about Coley and Bondi, to be honest. <laughs> it's a good combination. Tikshana, not Tikshana. So it, I think the TH is a, a it's a T. Yeah. Mahesh Tikshana. Tikshana, yeah. Tikshana. Well, uh, we probably humiliate ourselves enough there. Looking forward to reading the comments on this one, Pez. Hey, uh, plenty more c- to come here on TJC. If you are new, why not click like and subscribe? There are videos here, one of your options, all of your options. Stick around for more TJC action during the Asia Cup and, of course, the World Cup to come. Plenty more happening on the channel. So click subscribe and join us along the journey. See you guys tomorrow morning. Cheers.